Hi, my name is Patrick Viet. I make videos to share my Linux engineering knowledge. Welcome to Server to Server MySQL Cold Copy. This short video is part of a full MySQL data backup transfer video series. This is the second video, MySQL Transfer Cold Copy. Please check which part applies to you, or if you aren't sure, watch all four of them and decide what you'll do after. Well, I'm going to show in this video. First of all, this video is technical, it's a how-to. I assume you have root access to two Linux servers with an SSH client. If you don't know what that means, this video is not for you. I will show a step-by-step -step diagram of the cold copy process. This video will be done in Linux, Ubuntu, 12.04 LTS, codename precise, except for the Debian.cnf part. It also all works just the same in Linux, Red Hat, CentOS, Fedora, Suze. I'll do it on Amazon EC2 with two completely virgin installs. I will stop an example database, transfer its data to another server, and start the new server. I will show how to take care of things like modified credentials as a result, and moving Debian CNF file. So here's the comparison table. We are now looking at cold copy. It completely interrupts, doesn't even queue the queries, it just stops the server. It's the easiest and the fastest to do. It's compatible with InnoDB, MyISAM, everything, and no special requirements. So the process is stop MySQL daemon on the source server, copy data directory to the destination server, clean up, and start the destination server again. Here's a diagram. So we got our two servers. We stop them both. Copy. Clean up and start. And we're good. Now onto the screencast. We're now going to do the cold copy. It stops everything, but it's the easiest method. We just need root SSH access to sync the data. So let's create an SSH key on the source server. SSH key gen, yes. Perfect. So now I'm going to look at the content of this file and paste it into the destination file which is authorized keys. Perfect. Let's stop MySQL on the two sides. Service MySQL stop And twice. Now rsync av var lib mysql. You can also add actually a z compress onto destination var lib mysql. It's all copied. And now all we have to do is service MySQL start on both sides. And we're good. Last step is to copy the Debian.cnf content. The easiest way is also to copy paste. So for this, I'll just do cat etc mysql debian.cnf. Then here, I'll empty it, nano etc mysql debian.cnf, select, paste, control X, and save. And I can effectively use mysql dash dash defaults file equals slash etc slash mysql debian.cnf and it works. Please give me some feedback. To make a good video, I need feedback. Tell me what you liked about it, what you didn't like, what you thought was missing, what you thought was there and shouldn't have been. What other stuff would you like to learn about? Tell me. People like my videos because I make them about what they ask for, not about something I imagine may be useful and really isn't useful to anyone else than me. Stay in touch. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, subscribe to my mailing list. Thanks.